Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial on Java programming. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys about the continuous statement in Java. So what is this continuous statement and what is the use of it? So this continuous statement is normally used with the loops to skip the current iteration. So I think I can explain it better, you know, after writing a loop. So here for the demonstration purpose, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a loop, you know, which is going to print out learning like rocks 10 times. So I'm going to use a for loop and let's create the loop counter variable and let's call it as counter and let's initialize this one with a value of one. And then we're going to have the loop continuation condition. So it's going to be counter is less than or equal to 10 and then we're going to have the updation part so it's going to be counter plus plus all right now in this for loop body we're going to have a print line method from the system dot out so it's going to be print line and we're going to say uh, i'm going to refer to the counter plus and then uh, i'm going to have the space and learning lad rocks all right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna run this program and now you guys can see we're gonna get the learning led rocks 10 times all right now i'm gonna explain the use of the continuous statement so here for example let's say you want to skip the execution of this loop body or you know the execution of some statement in the loop if the counter contains a value 5 so it may be for any reason but here just for the demonstration purpose let's consider we don't want to execute this statement when this counter value becomes 5 and we want to execute it for any other values you know 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 9 10 we don't want to execute it for the value 5 so at that time what we can do is we can use the continue statement so i'm going to check for the counter variables value if counter equal to 5 and then I'm gonna write continue so when you use the continue statement inside a loop what happens is the statements after the continue statements will be skipped for that iteration and the loop will continue with the next iteration so here when this counter value becomes one you know this condition is gonna fail and we are not gonna execute the continuous statement we're just gonna print out one learning light rocks similarly for two three and four so when this value becomes five at that time you know this condition succeeds and the continuous statement will be encountered so at that time whatever the statements that we have after the continuous statement inside this loop will be skipped for this iteration or you know will not be executed and the loop will continue with the next iteration so the control will directly come to this part you know the updation part and it's going to increment the value you know the counter is going to contain a value of six and then it's going to execute the loop so at that time when the counter contains a value of six you know this condition fails and that's why we are not going to be executing this continue statement again so I just gonna run this program and uh, you know here you guys can see we have one learning lad rocks two three four and then we don't have the five we have the six you know when the counter contains a value of five you know the statements inside this loop will be skipped because of this continue statement so when you use this continue statement inside the for loop you know the statements after that continue statement will be skipped and the control will be transferred to the updation part and in the while and do i loop you know the control will be transferred to check the condition for example you know let's say we can have another counter variable let's say counter 2 and let's initialize this one with a value of 1 and we're gonna write the while loop so it's gonna be while and the counter 2 less than or equal to 10 and i just gonna um, paste this code copy that and paste it here and counter 2 alright it's gonna be counter 2 here alright now just gonna say this is from the while loop here you know just to make it pretty so it's gonna be system dot out dot print line and from the while loop 
and I'm just gonna copy this and paste it here and I'm gonna say from the for loop and let's see everything is proper so we need to increment the value of this counter 2 so I'm gonna do that here counter 2 plus plus and also we need to increment the value of this counter to variable before the continue statement you know otherwise the counter to variable is going to contain a value of 5 every time and you know it will be in the infinite loop so i'm just going to run this and uh, now you guys can see from the for loop 1 2 3 4 and 5 is not there 6 7 8 9 10 and then from the while loop 1 2 3 4 and 6 7 8 9 10 so the difference here is you know when you use the continue statement inside the for loop you know the control will be transferred to this updation part and here in this uh, while loop or you know in the do while loop you know the control will be transferred to check the condition and you know the remaining statements after the continue statement will be skipped in both the cases so this is it guys this is about the continue statement in java thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have any doubt or any suggestions don't hesitate to tell us and uh, you guys can share this video with your friends if you know if you guys think that you know you have learned something and also you guys can get the source code of this tutorial in my web blog learninglateducation.blogspot.com and uh, i'll see you in the next tutorial